so strange because every time I come to Thai, I get these mixed feelings. Like before I arrived, I was so excited to be in Thai again. But once we're here, I'm like a mix of nervousness and I don't know, it's like hard to explain feelings because there's a lot of memories here, good and bad. It's crazy to say that I used to live here with my mom 25 years ago. When we first came, we didn't have a lot of money. So my mom saved enough money to buy a piece of land here in Pai, which I would like to check it out later. And we stay in the tent for two years. That's pretty crazy. For two <laughs> years. Because we only had enough money to buy the land, but not enough to buy a small house. When we go cook, when we go eat, when we use the washroom, we walk to the neighbor. So we should go visit your neighbors yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. They have a little elephant uh, sanctuary there too. Love to see the elephants. The owners, they look pretty nervous renting out these motorbikes. <laughs> When I used to live here, there used to be a lot of motorbike accidents. People choose to come and drive motorbikes here for the first time because the rules are not as strict as in the big city. And I think another reason is that you kind of need a motorbike to get around Pai. If you keep taking like a taxi, it's going to be quite expensive. And the motorbike rentals are only a hundred baht a day. It's still a nice walking street, even in the daytime. The difference between day and night is that they don't have street vendors. So not a lot of food in the daytime, but at night, there's a lot of choices. Basically, if you're coming to Pai, you will have to make a stop here because this is where all the cafes are, a lot of the hotels are here, massage places. Also, the bus stop is on the street as well, and that's kind of how most people get to Pai. They would take a minivan from Chiang Mai to come to Pai. And this is the Pai bus stop. I think they don't have the big bus anymore. It's now all like minivans because it has AC and it's a lot faster. Back then it was like, you know, traditional this bus coming. Uh, traditional Thai bus that has no AC, just a van. Can you imagine back then taking that bus all the way from Chiang Mai <laughs> to Pai? That wouldn't work for me because I was already so sick from just being in the car, not even in a bus. There's 762 curves to get to Pai. Uh, I think around like the 400s, I was not <laughs> feeling very good. So I can't imagine taking a van. How much is a ticket? Do you know? Not sure. Let's, let's go check it out. I'd like to know too. 150 baht to go to Chiang Mai per person. That's really cheap actually. Mm -hmm. And I think it only takes like three hours. If you get crazy drivers, you might get there in two hours. <laughs> I don't think that's a necessarily a good thing. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'd rather get here in four hours and not two. <laughs> yeah. This is where our lives change. So about 10 years ago, I got a warrant for not coming back to Thailand to do my military service. So I came back here, I got arrested and went to jail behind the court, just right there for only three hours though. Long story short, before the court hearing, I went to eat at this restaurant and across me, there was a, a young guy, pretty much my age, he was giving a stare. So I was staring him down too, you know, like back then I was like, I'm a tough man. But then <laughs> it turned out he was the judge. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to court and everyone was like, all right, and then he showed up. I was like, oh my God, no. And that might be one of the reasons that I got one year instead of six months. <laughs> <laughs> How unlucky is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. After the court hearing, I remember telling you that I'll see you, to, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Because I said, I'm gonna bring my phone in there, I'm gonna bring everything in there, so I'll give you a call. But then I just disappeared for three months. It was a pretty like crazy, stressful time. And then I managed to ask one of the fellow um, instructors in the army to send you a picture. Yeah, and he chose like 
the most ridiculous photo to send me. It was him passed out and people putting ammonia on his <laughs> on his nose. And I was like, okay, this is not helping me feel comforted that like he's in the army. I say that was one of the toughest times of my life. It's serving in the Thai army for a year. Although something fun happened, I got to train with the U.S. Army in the operation in Thailand. They have this every year called Cobra Gold. And you got to do that like near the end of your service, yeah, so it was yeah. like a good way to end mm -hmm. the year. How much is it per day? So it's 500 baht, includes full tank of gas. Put your helmet on. <laughs> I'm gonna wear it. I'm scared you're gonna like swing me off. <laughs> really good. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, you look so cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna step into it now. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You ready? Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> If you come to Pai, rent this bike. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> it's super fun. And everyone's gonna give you a look because it's very, very cute. <laughs> look at the menu. So creative. Oh, that's super cute. Gonna go for my Americano. I added orange. <laughs> so now it's Americano orange juice. Capicolo latte on cat. Your coffee looks so cute. Thank you. These are now my favorite. These are like piccolo lattes. Or like almost like flat whites. Like they're less milk, more coffee. <laughs> Extra delicious. This is like a newest trend. Like we never seen this in Canada when we were there. No. This is new, right? Or is it just Thailand thing? I wonder. Well, no, people in Canada drink it separately. Yeah. That looks real nice. Cheers. So this cafe is kind of a hidden gem here in Pai. It was recommended by one of our subscribers that we met in town yesterday. He says he loves coming here. It's a very chill place. You can also tell that this cafe has a lot of character by some of the uh, artwork you see on the walls here. So the coffee is really good. They have a good selection of food as well. And I believe they have some guest houses that you can rent just in the back. There is a resident tortoise on this property so i think we'll have to go say hi before we leave to go to the bamboo bridge oh hi he looks so fake hey i think he's meditating yeah well he's in pie after yeah. all <laughs> that's what people come here to do <laughs> yeah meditation clear their minds yeah well you're quite fast it only took him like 30 seconds to get from that end to this end. quite steep. Yeah, but the guy at the rental place said we can, right? One way to find out. Ready? Keep going even though it's raining. 
raining a little bit. We're really not that far from it. What's the plan again? We're gonna go down this bridge and go to that coffee shop the, and get some The far one. Here. You good? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I don't feel like I can run. This bamboo feels so soft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's slippery. Okay, don't run. Okay. Don't run. It's raining quite hard. We might be here for a while. <laughs> it's quite beautiful though. The rice fields are all green and it's like terraces. You don't have to go all the way to Bali to see the rice terraces. True. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Pai now? Like I took you here maybe two times before. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this time is different. Because the first two times we came here just because I had to do something. It wasn't yeah. like a vacation and it was just right after the army. So I didn't feel like I wanted Showing to be. Showing me around. Yeah, yeah I didn't feel didn't. like, I didn't feel the, the vibe. I didn't think Pai was a good place to stay. Mm -hmm. I think the first time we came to Pai, you literally just brought me to a noodle shop, went to your land, like the house, and picked up some paperwork, and we left high. <laughs> we didn't stay. I so, think we, we, we stayed less than an hour. And then we did come back again, where we stayed overnight, but you, we never ventured outside. Wow. <laughs> I think Pai is quite a beautiful place. Now that we've seen so many different parts of Thailand, Pai has the mountains, it has the camping feel to it, it has like the nature, small town, everything that we love. We just never gave it a chance um, and it took us a while to come back. And that's kind of one of the reasons why we went on this road trip was our goal was to come to Pai because you were feeling like it's time to go back to Pai. Mm -hmm and just to see it. To it's feel time it. to reconnect with Pai again. I lived here when I was young, but I've never seen the beautiful side of Pai. Mm -hmm. When I flew the drone, I was like, what? Pai looks like this? Yeah. This time around, it's so much nicer. I think for you and for me too. <laughs> stopped and the sun came out so we can explore this bamboo bridge and rice field for a little bit. We have changed our plan slightly. We were going to go to the Pai Canyon but because it rains so much it's probably going to be really slippery there and a bit too dangerous so instead of going there for sunset we're going to take you to our new favorite spot called Two Huts. Before we go there we're going to quickly visit your land. Yeah it's on the way anyway. Yeah. I'd love to see how it is now. <laughs> we're here. This is where I grew up. My mom and I used to run this homestay and we used to have two elephants. The mother and the baby one. This is the baby one. It was exactly this size. Oh, so the, yes. she made the statue yeah. just like the baby. Her name was Joy. After she passed away because she got worms in her stomach, it broke my mom's heart and we decided to like leave, leave this place. But you left Pai earlier than your mom. Yeah, when I was 16. And it was here that I had that life-changing moment with my mom. She came home and she said she saved enough money to send me to international school in Chiang Mai. And she just made me promise that I will be good in school and do well in school. And I, I did. That's when I moved to Chiang Mai and got the scholarship to Canada. and. Get to go to Australia and met you, and now I'm here. 
สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะ It's p i l e She's taking care of our land. This was my car. <laughs> Now it's on my storage. Do you want to see what's inside? No, no. Rats, rats might jump out. Oh, just a bunch of uh, spiders, spider webs. The land actually has natural hot spring, and it's backing into um, the Pai River. And right here is the the mountain. But this side also is yeah, this your is, mom's land. This is land. also. A, Our land. Maybe one day we save enough money, we come and build a vacation home here in Pai. Yeah, or a little uh, bed and breakfast or yeah. some homestay. Yeah. Maybe. That would be nice. <laughs> wow, that view. Okay, this is definitely the place to be for sunset in Pai. You can see all the people here ready. This is pretty nice. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Quite a lot of people, mm -hmm. and majority of them are tourists. You don't see any Thai people here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm so glad we came to Thai again. Me too. And get to see the real beauty of Thai that I have never seen before, and you have never seen before. <laughs> And we also want to say thank you for exploring Pai with us today, and coming with us on all these adventures, listening to our stories. We appreciate every single one of you guys who watch, and also leave us comments as well. Thanks again for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. We'll Please. see you next. <laughs> you want to say it again together? Have a have a wonderful day. day. We will see, see you in the in next, the next one. one. Bye bye. Bloopers. I went to jail here. Well, you gotta give people more contact. <laughs> Holy! Where the hell is I remember your mom saying that she found a python. No, king cobra. A king cobra when she lives here. When she lives yeah, here. Yeah, in her bedroom, and yes. she tried to like catch it. With her bare hands, and it spat into her eyes, spat the venom. That's insane. <laughs> but your mom is fine. Yeah, mom, my mom is fine. Crazy, but fine. <laughs>